Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikathayal. Today is Sunday, June the 8th, 2014. I bring you greetings, greetings of the amazing love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, I encourage you to receive the greetings of Jesus, greetings of his eternal love, and give that greetings to everyone throughout this day. Today being Sunday, I encourage you to go to your respective churches and worship God with fellow Christians. It is an important thing and it's a very essential thing for us to worship God with fellow Christians in singing, in praising, in thanking, in petitioning. Congregational worship has a special meaning in our life and in the life of the church. Let us encourage one another to do that. <clears throat> I invite you to continue our meditation on the gospel according to Matthew chapter 24. Today, let us focus in on verse 4. When Jesus was on Mount, uh, Mount Olives, looking at the Jerusalem, the disciples came to him and asked him, when will be when will this happen? What Jesus predicted about Jerusalem. When will this happen? What will be the signs of your coming and the signs of the end of the ages? This is a, a very natural question for us. And it was a natural question for the disciples. They wanted to know when it will happen so they can be ready, prepared for the second coming of Jesus Christ and for the end of their ages. But sisters and brothers, Jesus has said and he'll continue to tell us, it is not up to us to know the time or the date, but it's up to us to prepare ourselves for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ at any time, for the end of the world, the end of the ages, at any time, so that we will be ready at all times. So whenever the curiosity comes in our life or in our heart, or oh, when will I die? Or when will this world die? Let us ask Jesus to help us to be ready at all times, at any time. How can we be ready at any time to grow in our relationship with Jesus Christ? When, uh, when we are with Christ, when Christ is within us, we are already in the eternal kingdom of heaven. So we don't need to worry about when will be the second coming, when will the end of the world we are already in the eternal kingdom of heaven. Therefore, let us rejoice in our being in Christ and Christ being in us. What is important for us is to keep on giving out the love of Christ to everyone and present the good news of Jesus Christ to everyone, telling them Jesus died on the cross for them. Jesus died and resurrected. He opened up heaven for us. We can have the assurance of eternal life in and through Christ. So let us encourage everyone to welcome Jesus into their heart as their Lord and Savior, Lord and Savior of the world. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for giving us this beautiful Sunday. Enable us to come together with fellow Christians and worship you in public. Oh Lord, give us the joy of worshiping you, the delight of worshiping you. Lord Jesus Christ, continue to abide within us, telling us not to worry about our own death or the death of our relatives and friends 
or the depth of this universe. Oh Lord, help us to know and believe as long as you are within us. We are with him. We don't need to be afraid. In and through you, we can be ready. Give us that confirmation, O oh Lord. O oh Holy Spirit, continue to fire up our faith, knowing, believing that we are in God. God is in us. O oh Lord, whenever we have fear, anxiety, worry, enable us to give them to you and receive strength, vitality, energy from you to light up the world. We are the light of the world, the salt of the earth. Continue to transform us into your light and salt. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.